Good morning and welcome to the GDFL Netball Show for Round 8. Joining me on the show, we have the Farrah Fawcett lookalike, Donna Francesi from the Anarchy Netball Club. Welcome, Donna. Oh, good. Wasn't give, she give, a, give, give, wasn't a, she a sex flick. symbol at some stage? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that, that compliment. A little bit of a flick there. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Amanda Hanley from Belfast Hill Netball. Welcome, Amanda. Good morning. Good morning, Sorry, no, good no comparison. Good morning, Farrah. <laughs> <laughs> lovely to see you this morning. Oh, girl. I must say, your shirt's looking precious. lovely, ladies. Thanks to Rosemary. We all look good and great for ironing. Oh. Hang on, right. I ironed. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Not, but anyway. <laughs> it's all good. So, <gasps> quite in anyway, the last week we had um, the interleague game, um, which fantastic if anybody got down there. Firstly, we're going to uh, go on over to Donna, um, who did a couple of interviews with Sharon Ford and Kim Martin. So here's Donna with those interviews. Ford, congratulations. What a great, great win. Yeah, it was. Everyone, I think, played really well. It was a team effort, I think, and it was just so nice when you're playing with such talented girls like this, and it was a good win. I tell you what, the standard of it was unbelievable, like, especially defence, and Amanda Wilson, Mel Bragg up there, fantastic, like, great effort by those girls. Yeah, they just killed it. They just had hands over everything all day and wouldn't mind them at Bannockburn one day. <laughs> well, I don't think that's going to happen too quickly, Sharon. No, probably not. <laughs> you yourself played a fantastic centre game all around court. You ran your, your legs off on this court all day. Um, great game by you. Uh, Were well, you happy with yourself? Um, I probably need to learn to keep my mouth shut a little bit. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm pretty stuffed now. So it was good to actually have a hard hit out at this time of year. So. Yeah. And what did you think of the opposition? What do you think? Were those girls good? Were they rough? Were they, you know, pretty standard on the court? No, they're actually really good. They were physical, which I think is a good... Well, that adds to the contest, doesn't it? Definitely. They were like hard hits all day, so I'm a bit sore now. Yeah. And up the goal in the end, like when Mel Philpott came on with Kim Martin, what a team. Oh, you couldn't ask for anything better in there with that height, so yep. Do you know, watching from the sidelines, those two together, it was just like unbelievable. We thought, well, if we get Mel Philpott and Tabal Post Hill, what a team they would make. <laughs> They'd be probably unstoppable, <laughs> so let's hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. And, oh, and the rest of the girls, like Jars and your, and your shippers, and that fantastic game by them too, were they really happy with the game? Yeah, they really were. Um, I think they can just come on and with fresh legs and that, we just probably weren't really being able to stop, so it was good. I couldn't help but see that probably last quarter, like halfway through, you guys were throwing a few away there. You think you're pretty relaxed going into the, you know, the end of the game? I think so. I think the girls were sort of just took it down a notch, I think, and just got a few wild ones, but yeah, it was all right. Well, I think having a bit of fun is all part of the game, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Interleague's about coming together with your, I guess, opposition teammates and just come as one, so it's good. Kim Martin, great game. Thank you. It was really tough. Tough game, but it was good. Well, it didn't look tough for you. I tell you what, you just stood out like a, the ball was just up in the air. You just grabbed it, bang, popped it in the goal. <laughs> oh, I had good girls passing it to me. It was all about the pass. And so I... do you know how many goals you got? No. I'll tell you. You got 31 goals. Thank you. <laughs> and Mel Philpott come on and she got 16. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, she was good support. I tell you what, the combination between you two, everyone was just in awe of it. Like, just the whole atmosphere was just great. I guess it's the height. It's a very tall um, goal circle. It was really good to play in. Yeah, and hence why we hate to play you guys. Um, um, great, great team effort by all? Yeah, it was really good playing with all the girls. And I know a few of them, we've played in other teams and things before. Um, yeah, they're a lovely group of girls. And, really fun. and you yourself, how did you think you performed on the day? Um, did all right. So it was good to play out goal shooter and goal attack. I like mixing up a bit. So I tell you what, as goal attack, you certainly took your spot on the court and you were cert certainly noticeable. But in shooter too, you sort of can relax a bit back there, can't you? Yeah, pretty chilled out. <laughs> but I like running in goal attack. No, and you look fantastic on the court and, and the whole team performed really well. Um, coming from the centre, how did you think Sharon and that passed into you? I oh, love it. Really, really good. Love playing with Shaz. It'd be nice to have those kind of calibre players on the court every week, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, we, I feel like Belfast Hill, we do as well. Yeah, no way, you do, because you beat everyone. But anyway, but as I said, Kim, great game by you. Keep up the goaling and um, keep shooting and getting accuracy. And, and as I said, Kim, 1,000 goals for the end of the year. You think it's going to happen? No. Today's interview, Donna. No, any time. <laughs> Just going to have a little bit of a chat. The games, girls, we're, we're all down there having a bit of a look around. 
fantastic game to watch. Those girls, you know, we know that we've got a lot of class in the GDFL, but I tell you what, they played brilliantly together. For girls who obviously got minimal training, mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah, you would never have known, would you? No. Like, seriously. So at least a boy didn't take the court, so we did... Um, a broken finger. Yeah, we, Mel did mention that she had a broken finger and she was just waiting some results, so she didn't take the court. Um, but I tell you what, Amanda Wilson and Mel Bragg in defence. Unstoppable, wasn't yeah. it? Like, it was pretty even the first half, wasn't it, yeah. girls? But in that second half, I think we kicked up a notch and bang, they went. The defence was outstanding. Um, Amanda, and under I think North Central's only um, scored one or two goals in that third quarter. It was, yeah, phenomenal. The girls put them away. Yeah, yeah they yeah. did. And going into the third quarter, there are a couple of changes made. So uh, that's when the lovely Mel Philpot came into goal shooter. And, and the golden child. She, she did, and she did a great job. Um, so in the half game that she played, she scored 16 yeah. goals, and Kim came out to goal attack and played a beautiful goal attack. She moves so beautifully out she on does. the court. And that, that, I think that's when she was a junior, she played a she played a goal attack mm -hmm. role, and that was primarily her role as a junior. Yep. And um, I know within her, her Australian rep teams that she's played as well, she was she's very good at moving, yeah. and I think it's um, it's something that we don't see often of no. him. And yeah. she would have loved it. She loves running. And she did and score yeah. 31 goals she's, too on that yeah, day. She so did. That good. And I did make a comment to Donna when we were there that you know it wouldn't be often that Kim gets to float without a player on her because they had two players on Melody Field yeah. Pot to, to try and stop her height and her ability to hold. So here's Kim Martin floating yeah. around the court. Yeah. Like it was, it, it was great to see. Um, and so they had the umpires award um, from from the weekend went to Amanda Wilson, and she, as I said, she yeah. absolutely starred. Yeah. Um, she played in goalkeeper for the whole game, um, yeah. but it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Her, her ability to read that play and her defence work, like her three feet, like her arms above that ball, I tell you what, it is outstanding. Any youngsters coming up through the game need to get down and watch that type of calibre of a player because they will learn a heap from doing that. Yeah. Like, she is just outstanding. Yeah, absolutely. And then the other award, Mandy, you were just explaining to me how... Yeah, so the other award who was awarded to Casey Carroll on the day, there was three vote cards that were um, given out to the opposition coach and obviously to team and they voted Casey Carroll as their selection for yeah. best on court. Yeah, absolutely. But that's not taken away either from the other cynical no, players. Absolutely. Sharon Ford, like, no. Sharon played brilliantly throughout the whole game, running up and down that court. Um, yeah. And yeah, your wing attacked you. Everyone, Everyone played fantastic. They really did. It was a real and, privilege. Um, well done to North Geelong for putting on a great yeah. event. It was, it was fantastic down there. Um, the weather was good. Uh, I know that when it rains you can get a little bit miserable and wet, but it did hold it off. It wasn't a bad day. It it was. Yeah. And, you know, the team was really well coached by Heidi Shaw. She yeah. had a great understanding of the players she had in the interleague squad and their strengths, and, and she played them to, it, to their strengths. And the, her rotations were, they were really, yeah. really smart yeah. rotations. Absolutely. So, great game to watch. If, if you can get down there next year to the next interleague game, it's really good to see the calibre of, of players we've got. Um, so that's all for the interleague game this week and we'll be back after the break um, with Darren Johnston from North Geelong. Football is 